One of the important concepts uh, that can help us with management uh, is the concept of acceptable growing stock. And we can classify trees as acceptable growing stock or unacceptable growing stock. And those are commonly referred to by foresters as AGs, acceptable growing stock, or UGs, unacceptable growing stock. So what is acceptable growing stock? Well, it depends upon your management objectives. Now I'll show you, I'll use a tree to show you an example of that. We'll move over here. We've got a maple tree over here and um, it's got a little bit of a lean to it, but if you look up that maple tree, and it's not a particularly uh, uh, good species for, for this area, but as you move up, you see it's got a lot of branches on it. And matter of fact, the top's been knocked out. Now, by most standards, for, for timber production, that would be unacceptable growing stock because it would not meet our management objectives. However, if you're into wildlife management, uh, a snag tree like this that clearly has woodpecker holes in the top of and that kind of thing might be very good to have in your stand. So defining acceptable growing stock is based on your management objectives. And so this is an example where for a timber objective, it would be unacceptable growing stock. For a wildlife objective, it might be fine to leave it there and it might actually be acceptable growing stock. Now there's other ways to classify acceptable growing stock as well. Um, are they the species we want? And that could include both a wildlife objective or a timber objective. Um, uh, invasive species, exotic invasives that are in your stand are generally unacceptable growing stock and, and would be classified as that. Um, and there are other situations that cause trees to be uh, unacceptable growing stock. And let's look at another example. Uh, the form of a tree is very important for timber. This tree over here, we'll look at it. And it's a tree that has a significant amount of crook and sweep in it. The form is very bad from a timber standpoint. So we would not want to keep this tree in the stand and uh, allow it to occupy growing space because its ability to give us high quality timber because of its form uh, is pretty poor. So those are some examples of, accept of unacceptable growing stock. Now let's compare that to acceptable growing stock. And I'm going to walk back here and you can see the, the uh, large straight tree behind me. And I'll walk over to it. This is a uh, black oak, and it is a very preferred species for, for uh, these woods. You can see it's got a nice diameter to it, very straight, and this would be a good example of acceptable growing stock in this stand. So from a management perspective, we would be favoring the acceptable growing stock. We would be um, removing the unacceptable growing stock, maybe as part of a harvest or maybe uh, you know, they, we chemically injected them to get rid of them, like timber stand improvement uh, would be. Um, but we would be removing the unacceptable growing stock over a period of time to provide more room for the high quality trees uh, that meet our objectives.